Welcome to my channel, Innova World. Hi guys, what to do next after be aeronautical engineering or aerospace engineering, higher studies or job? Many of you want to step towards job, but the question is what kind of job you can get as a fresher? So listen to my every words carefully till the end. This video lay out a common but find out you can get a job in India either government or private sector. It's better to clear any three of this. Get exam, graduate engineer training, GED or aerospace design checker. Now I will brief prescribe about three of it. In GATE, if you clear the exam, they will provide you a GET score. Using that GET score, you can apply any government sector jobs like Defense, ISO, NAL, HL, DRDO, ADA, Civil Aviation Department, JRF, Assistant Project Engineering in any IITs, NITs, BITs, MITs, and etc. Now, Graduate Engineer Training. It is actually a training period for any engineers, maybe aeronautical or mechanical. This training period is for six months to one year to get accustomed with the corporate sector. And the last one comes Aerospace Design Checker. To be an aerospace design checker, a person or a user should be proficient in CAD designing where you put the intelligence into the system so that a manual checking can be reduced like ANSYS, uh, Nastron, Patron, Hypermesh and any other user softwares. And also go for a software development companies like ANSYS, MSC Software, ANSYS Numerix which is used or specifically used in IIT Bombay, Master, ESI Software, CD Abduco. These are all the software development companies. Now you can also apply for any design center, Field Forces, Infotech, TCS, Satyam, Fixin, Quest Global Engineering, Honeywell, GE General Electric, John Derry, Humanist, General Motors, HCL, Godrej Aerospace, Sigma Aerospace, Foy, Saffron, Airbus, Pratt and Vinti, GTRE, Eureka, Caterpillar India, Capricani Technology, Axis Cadus, Bale and many more. These are all the high profile design centers or companies you can apply for it. Above all, you need to identify your areas of interest or best fundamental subject knowledge organic structure, propulsion, flight dynamics, avionics, maintenance, or it can be either airlines or aviation industry. So, in aviation industry, as a B or graduate, you can apply in aircraft security officer planning and logistic and if you're really interested in traveling or you can apply for as a cabin crew there is no harm in it you can go to the particular website of a particular airlines and you can go and apply over there this comes in avionics to be specialized in avionics you must be a very strong in electronics or electrical things uh, because electrical plays a major role in avionics you can apply in air force BSSC and many more companies. Now comes flight dynamics. In flight dynamics, it has a very limited op openings or opportunities. You can, if you are very strong in flight dynamics, you can apply in HL, ADA, Airbus, Techstrong. Now, in India, at present scenario, structure is a highly paid and job profile and consists of very worse fields. You need to be proficient in Nastron, ANSYS, Abacus to apply in all the design centers I have explained or named before. So to be a good uh, structural engineer or analyst, you should be strong in dynamics, fatigue, 
and static analysis. Be strong in fundamental. Choose the right areas of interest. Develop the skill on your particular areas of interest and be bold and confident when face the interview. All the best for your bright future. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and senior or junior. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.